A car has a mass of 1,500 kilograms and is negotiating a flat circular curve of radius 50 meters with a speed of 20 meters per second. I've already drawn the force diagram with a side view with the center of the track directed to the left of the car. Okay, so the only force you need in your force diagram is the force of friction. Now you could put the centripetal force, but the centripetal force is the force of friction in this case. So what's happening is that as the tires are turned to the left, <coughs> they're pushing against the ground to the right, and the ground is pushing back and forcing the car to the left. To figure out the magnitude of the centripetal force, now we're on part B, you have to use mb squared over r is equal to fc, or ff in this case, and then you just plug in and you get 12,000 newtons. For part C, the force of friction is equal to mu times the normal force. So even though you didn't need to put the normal force and also the weight in your force diagram, you can still use the normal force to figure out the force of friction. And since the normal force is just going straight up, we don't have to do anything fancy with cosine theta or anything like that. So we can just use um, the fun formula. That's how you can memorize this. Fun. Anyway. And then you just plug in and you use algebra to get approximately 0.82.